And Dan, from Gary, Indiana. What do you think of the back and forth this week between Bret Hart and Martha Hart over, as Bret puts it, her erasing of Owen's memory from wrestling? First of all, Owen's memory will never be erased from wrestling, so let's just put that to bed right now. Uh, I think the whole thing is incredibly sad. Brett has made a lot of negative comments about Martha over the years, uh, going back at least to the time that she filed a lawsuit against WWE uh, for that Hart Family DVD that they put out and their use of Owen's name and his likeness in it. They settled that lawsuit a few years after that. I don't recall if the terms were ever publicly disclosed. I don't believe so. But at the time, Brett said that he did not speak to Martha anymore and he hadn't even seen Owen's kids, his own nephews, in over a decade. And that probably was almost a decade ago now. That, to me, is the saddest part about this entire thing. As close as Brett and Owen seem to be, because you could be brother or sister with somebody but not be terribly close. As you get older, you each grow apart, you move away, you each have your own family, but they seem to be fairly close. And the idea that Brett hasn't even communicated with or seen his own nephews in, I mean, at this point, it could be 15 years or more, is is so sad to me. And in this latest interview that he did, uh, Brett went off on her again. Brett went off on a lot of things. <laughs> but he's very upset that Owen is not in the WWE Hall of Fame. He called Martha a very obtuse, square-headed person. Which is an odd insult to hurl. Uh, at someone, but there it is. I, I just have this image in my head of Martha Hart now as a, a Lego. But he said he's done more to, or she rather, has done more to erase Owen's memory than she ever did to remember him. That's a that's a strong thing to say to someone's widow. Now Martha, who we don't hear from very often, released a statement through the Owen Hart Foundation, which she established back in 2000, uh, almost 20 years and I saw so many comments this week from fans saying, I had no idea that there even was an Owen Hart Foundation. I had no idea that something like that even existed. I, I did. I'll admit I completely forgot about it, but I do recall many, many years ago hearing that she was establishing that. But yeah, it's not something that gets a lot of publicity, unfortunately. If it did, maybe more people would support it as, a, as sort of a way to you know, show their appreciation for Owen. I think she probably needs to be doing more to get the word out there about this foundation. But anyway, uh, let me just read a little bit here. This is from Martha's own words from the statement that she put out. She said, The suggestion by Bret Hart that I am erasing the memory of my late husband, Owen Hart, is reckless, irresponsible, and clearly untrue. Bret's comments are rooted in the fact that I have steadfastly refused to work with the WWE to explore exploit Owen's image for commercial gain. Owen was an incredible entertainer, and I know his many fans around the world enjoyed his wrestling career immensely. I encourage them to continue to do so. But I am firm in my belief that the WWE was responsible for Owen's death. As a result, I cannot and will not support any efforts by them to profit off of Owen's memory. Instead, I, my son Oge, and daughter Athena have worked tirelessly to honor Owen through the good works of the Owen Hart Foundation, which has exceeded $4 million in gift-giving and contributions towards scholarships, homeowner bursaries, and other special projects that have greatly improved the lives of so many in Canada and around the world. We have always believed that this is the most fitting public tribute to a man of profound integrity, a wonderful human being who just so happened to wrestle. I know that Owen would be very proud of the tremendous accomplishments of the Foundation, Bret Hart's comments are disrespectful and cruel. It is disappointing that so many in the media have chosen to report them without seeking my perspective. Whatever Bret may believe, the fact is that far from erasing Owen and his memory, I have devoted the last 20 years to celebrating his life in a very public way. I can think of very few people who have been remembered so glowingly by their spouse. Yeah, that last part came off a little self-serving there at the end, but... Uh, look, I, here, here's the problem. Here's the problem. They both have valid points. They both have valid points. It is not fair to attack either side too hard because you're dealing with family members of somebody who passed away. And the way in which he died is so just... It was so appallingly preventable. It's like when you hear about a drunk driving death. I've used this as, a, as an example of things before where 
you'll have a an innocent person sitting in their car get rammed by a drunk driver who had no business being behind the wheel and you know eight or nine times out of ten how does that story end the innocent person in the other vehicle is dead and the drunk driver they live and not only do they live they usually walk away without a scratch on them or without any kind of major injury and i hear stories like that or i i, I read this other story the other day of of um you know uh, animal abuse uh, it was just there are stories that you read that make you angry right there there are things horrible things that happen that really just are appalling and you ask yourself why why would something like that happen to a good person like that and i kind of felt that way after owen died so many people came out so many tributes not one negative thing i heard from any of the people that ever worked with him saying anything negative about owen they would talk about his ribs and and practical jokes and stuff but you know i, I don't recall ever hearing an owen hart rib story and brett loves to tell them i don't really recall ever hearing about one that i think came off as just really malicious or mean-spirited like you there are there are classic wrestler rib stories that are just disturbing you know even someone like mr perfect who would cut people's clothing up with the british bulldogs things they would do to people's personal property there's no fucking place for that like i'm sorry like a practical joke is one thing but when you just destroy people's property and call it a joke like you know if that were me yeah i wouldn't take that too kindly either but you never really heard stories like that about owen and then the way he died, just appallingly preventable. That never should have happened. If that were my brother, or if it were my wife, I would be angry too, and I would be resentful just the way that she is. All of the above. From Martha's point of view, she doesn't want WWE making money or profiting off of her husband, and she holds the company responsible for his death. Is that fair? Yes and no. You can blame the company that made the harness that, that broke for his death, but it was still a WWE stunt. They contracted with that company. It was their idea. She doesn't want them making money off of him. In her eyes, the Hall of Fame is a vehicle for them to make money, and in that respect, she is absolutely 100% right. The WWE Hall of Fame is a marketing tool. It is a marketing tool for the company. If they could not sell tickets and they could not make money off of it, they never would have brought it back in 2004. It would have been dead and buried after 96. Eight years between Hall of Fame inductions. Why? Because they finally figured out a way to make money off all of it. Because they're a business. So I can see Martha's point of view on that. She takes a very cynical point of view on a lot of these things, but she's not wrong. But I could also see Brett's point of view. I'm sure that he would love to give the speech inducting his brother into the Hall of Fame or, or you know, to see a whole new generation of fans exposed to Owen Hart who, who otherwise probably wouldn't know who he is. Because I don't think he's in any of the video games or anything like that. I would, I would have to think not. Oh, I'm sure Martha would not approve of that. So he's left out of a lot of these things. And yeah, you're going to have a lot of people who don't know who Owen Hart is. Brett sees Martha as the obstacle to that happening. When they made a Hart Family DVD and had photos of Owen in there, she sued them. Brett knows that all that does is scare WWE off from doing anything involving Owen Hart, and he resents that. In his mind, it's like Owen never existed. And he blames her for that. He cannot understand why she would want to do that to him. So, I get it. There is no easy answer here. I was I was thinking like the best thing to do would be for WWE to pledge either a big donation to the Owen Hart Foundation, or if they wanted to induct him into the Hall of Fame, come up with some kind of a solution where proceeds uh, from the sale of an Owen Hart Hall of Fame shirt or something would go to the foundation. But that's never going to work. Because in Martha's eyes, just by selling tickets to the Hall of Fame, they're making money off of it. Because they fill these big arenas up with ten or 15,000 people every year for the Hall of Fame. They're not little quaint banquets and hotel ballrooms anymore like they used to be. And maybe, frankly, they should be. They're an arena show. They're, they're no different than Raw or SmackDown or NXT. Instead of a ring, you have a stage. It's all the same. So that, that solution would not work. It would not be acceptable to her. Because they're still selling tickets and they're still making money off of it. 
WWE is not going to give all of the money that they make that year in Hall of Fame ticket sales to the Owen Hart Foundation. Right? Now you're getting in, into an argument about, well, how do you determine the number of tickets that Owen's induction sells? How much is an Owen Hart induction really worth? It's impossible. That just doesn't work. So she's never going to agree to it. As long as there's breath in her body, I, I look, it's been 20 years or something now. You never say never, right? Even Brett came back after Montreal. But in this case, this is different. This woman doesn't care about wrestling. She's got no emotional attachment. Bret Hart, eventually, he was watching a match on TV and said, man, I'm getting the itch. I want to come back. You think Martha Hart is sitting there watching WrestleMania? Or watching Monday Night Raw thinking, boy, I sure would love to do some work with WWE. Hey, there's, there's Dana Warrior on stage doing the Warrior Award. Boy, I sure would love to do that. She doesn't care. I, I get the sense that she never liked wrestling to begin with, even when Owen was doing it. So she's got no emotional attachment. She is not going to change her mind. Martha cannot dictate whether or not WWE honors her husband. If they wanted to put him in the Hall of Fame, they could put him in next year. But this right here, everything I'm talking about, this back and forth that happened this week and her putting a statement out, this is a great illustration of why WWE will not do it. Look at the shitstorm this one little back and forth created. It became a, a big story. Now magnify that by 20 if WWE ever went ahead against her will and inducted her husband into the Hall of Fame without her blessing. The headaches that she would cause for them, it would be a PR nightmare. There's just no easy answer here. I would love to sit here and say, just put him in the Hall of Fame. Extend an invitation to the family to attend, even if you know they won't, but extend the invitation anyway. Let his brother do the induction and make a very public, very large donation, in good faith, to the Owen Hart Foundation. But remember, she sued them the last time they made money off his name, and we still don't know the nature of the settlement. What we do know is that she claimed at the time that WWE was not paying royalties that were due to them, and that they were breaching a contract that... Uh, it was like limited use of his name or likeness or something. As I mean, as ridiculous as that sounds, because it's the man's real name. It's not like it was some made-up uh, phony stage name. They are There are apparently legally restrictions on the ways in which WWE can use his, his name and likeness. And that makes Brett very angry. And he has every right to be. But hurling insult at the mother of his nephews and calling his widow names like that, it's not going to fix things. I'm more interested in how you find a, you know, you, there's a ton of Owen Hart footage right now on the WWE Network, which people pay a subscription fee to watch. And yet she doesn't seem to have an issue with that. Is that not profiting off of her husband's name? If so, why hasn't she sued WWE for that? Is it because they are paying her royalties right now to her family and so she's okay with that? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. This whole thing is a mess, and it shouldn't be. Owen Hart should be alive right now, and he's not, and that sucks. And you know what also sucks? The fact that his family feud, this family feud here that's been going on for years and years, is still going on almost 20 years after his death. You think this is what he would want? People calling his brother bitter? And calling his wife all sorts of horrible names that I won't repeat here. It's depressing to see.